honor of an explosive season 10 of Love Island UK, let's talk about other Love Island contestants who have published books since coming out of the villa. First up, we have Camilla Thurlow's Not the Type. And disclaimer, this is the only book on this list that I have read. Camilla is the bomb disposal expert from season three, and season three to me really bridges the gap between like the raunchier seasons of seasons one and two, and then the later, like the more like formally staged, like more popular seasons. And she also said in her book, and I've heard this from some of the other contestants on season three, that they did not expect to have the level of fame that they had when they came out of the villa. Like to them, they thought this was just like a fun show that they were doing in the meantime. And season three was really like the first season that really had like skyrocketed them to fame. Um, and I'm currently rewatching season three right now. And Kem even, Amber even says to Kem in one of their conversations, she's like, are you excited to go back to hairdressing? And it's so funny just to see, like even watching season 10 now, as much as I loved it, it's very obvious like what parts of it are very like staged and like regimented, whereas season three, they're like lounging around and like sitting in the smoking area and like you see them taking naps throughout the day, like inside. Um, so it's kind of fun to see, like that's one of the reasons I really like season three. It's still like has a little bit of that like organic, raunchy reality feel to it. But back to Camilla's book, she talks about her experience working for the Halo Trust, which is the same organization that Princess Diana and Prince Harry volunteered for. She details her experience of what it was like to go through the really grueling training for that, and then also her different placements that she had. She talks about how difficult her job was in terms of the things that she was witnessing, but then also feeling so disconnected from her family. And she touches on that a little bit throughout season three. You can see her talking about how she felt like she really couldn't connect with people anymore because she'd just seen such horrible things in the world and it was really hard for her to give space to other people's problems. And she touches on that more in the book in terms of like where she was at in her head before she went on Love Island and then how that was really like, to her, it was throwing herself into the social deep end because she felt like she really needed this immersive social fishbowl in order to come back out of her shell and just feel like she could socialize like normal again. And as a book lover herself, how can you just not love her? Next up, we have Until I Met You by Amber Rose Gill. Amber is from season five of Love Island UK, which is the undisputed best season of Love Island. And we obviously loved her for her rallying storyline that she had on the show. She was one of my like all time favorite contestants on the show. And she had one of my favorite lines, which when she was talking about Michael and she said, he looked like a boy that'll ruin your life. And I feel like I say that all the time now, like watching like later seasons, I'm like he looks like, <laughs> like a boy who will ruin your life. So loved her. And then when she left the villa and published a romance novel, it's like, how can you not love her even more? Until I Met You brings together the unlikely pairing of a free-spirited travel blogger and then a corporate Wall Street guy. Um, they meet and then it says that secrets will be revealed and then in the end they have to figure out if maybe the other person is actually what they've been needing all along. I'm pretty sure you can grab this one off of Amazon if you want to have um, the ebook edition of it. For me, I love a physical book, so I think I will try to find a copy of it on eBay. Next up, we have season three menace, Chris Hughes, and his book is called You Banner and Me. And the full title, it just cracks me up every time I read it anywhere. Um, the full title is You Banner and Me, the, love, the Life Story of Love Island's Biggest Star. Um, so if that just gives you like a preview of his trademark humility and humor, um, like I said, I'm currently rewatching season three and there's so many moments where he like literally laughed out loud at just like the most ridiculous stuff that he says. Um, very entertaining, very funny, but his book talks about his life on the farm and then how he dealt with his severe anxiety since leaving the villa. Another fan favorite of season five and honestly probably of all time is Ovi Soko. In his book, You Are Dope, talks about how you can learn to embrace the messy parts of life. It's meant to be an inspirational book, and honestly, after we all watched him pick up India in that wheelbarrow, I think we would follow him anywhere. Next up, we have Reclaiming by Yuande Viala. Yuande initially wrote an essay about the struggles of constantly having her name mispronounced, and the essay went viral and it inspired her to create this collection of essays. I love a collection of essays. I feel like lately I've really been enjoying like 
lots of little short snippets versus like one long book. And her collection of essays touches on body image, mental health, social media, and more. Next up, we have Dr. Alex George, who wrote Live Well Every Day. Dr. Alex wrote this book to empower his readers to create their own health toolkits, um, so that way they can create habits that help them live healthier lives every day. Obviously, this is more under the lens of like medical and self-help, um, but based on the type of work that he's done since coming out of the villa, it makes sense that he would write this type of book, and then obviously his profession. So. So like I said, I've only read Camilla's book off of that list, but I think I'm going to look for Amber's and Yuande, Yuande's off of eBay because I really like having like the physical copy of it, So, and those two looked most interesting to me, but I would love to know who you think and what other contestants should publish their own book, who you want to hear more from. So that's what I've been thinking about, so let me know what you think in the comments.